Good morning children. Hope all of you are fine. Today we will revise the chapter The Making of the National Movement 1870s to 1947. First question, the slogan Freedom is my birthright and I shall have it was raised by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Second question, name the three leading members of the radical group. Answer, Vipin Chandrapal, Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Lala Lajpatrai. Next question, who raised the slogan, do or die? Answer, Mahatma Gandhi. Fourth one, name three places where Gandhiji started local movements. Answer, Champaran, Kheda and Ahmedabad. Next question, why were people dissatisfied with British rule in the 1870s and 1880s? People were dissatisfied with British rule in the 1870s and 1880s due to the following reasons. The British passed the Arms Act in 1878, which disallowed Indians from possessing arms. In the same year, they passed the Vernacular Press Act. This act snatched the freedom of speech and expression. It allowed the government to confiscate the assets of newspapers including their printing presses if the newspapers published anything critical of the government. In 1883, the Ilbert Bill was introduced. The bill provided for the trial of British or European persons by Indians and sought equality between British and Indian judges in the country. But the white opposition forced the government to withdraw the bill. Next question, who did the Indian National Congress wish to speak for? Answer, the Indian National Congress wished to speak for the entire people belonging to different communities of India. Next question, what economic impact did the First World War have on India? Answer, the First World War led to a huge rise in the defense expenditure of the government of India. The government in turn increased taxes. Increased military expenditure and the demands for war supply led to the sharp rise in prices which badly affected the common people. They found it difficult to fulfill even their essential needs. But the business groups earned huge profits from the war. The war created Demand for industrial goods like jute bags, cloth and caused a decline of imports from other countries into India. As a result, Indian industries expanded during the war. Next question, who were the moderates? How did they propose to struggle against British rule? Answer, the moderates were against taking extreme actions. They were of the opinion that slowly and steadily they would make the British go to their own land. They published newspapers, wrote articles and showed how British rule was leading to the economic ruin of the country. They criticized the British rule in their speech and sent representatives to different parts of the country to mobilize public opinion. Let me conclude today's session. Children, you have to study all these question answers and read your textbook well. Thank you. Have a nice day.